What's going on, everyone? Thanks for tuning in for another episode of JB Trickle RC. This particular episode, uh, we're going to be continuing off the uh, 21.5 car build that I did, you know, uh, several episodes back where I took the new 21.5 car, uh, cleaned it up, rebuilt it, put everything back together. And uh, we've hit a few dirt over races with the car since then, and the car continues, and myself continues to make progress and get a little bit better. Um, and again, like I mentioned in previous videos, this is not the first time I've ran this class. I was on a different platform chassis at that point in time. Um, had some success in it and had some struggles in it. And I wanted to give it a go again. And uh, what makes this so different from the other classes that I was running for so long is I've gone away from the rubber tires and focusing on the foam tire cars. Um, foam tire cars, there's a lot more to deal with. You've got to cut your tires. You've got to groove your tires. Uh, got to cross cut your tires. So there's a lot of tire work that goes into it and tire is a big part of the 21.5 game and any foam tire class game. So, uh, but with that said, I want to let you know too, I'm going to be bringing you another video, especially over the winter break. Um, I'm, I'm still going to have some races I'm going to be able to cover, uh, but I'm going to bring you a few more tutorials too. I'm going to bring you a tire cutting video on how I uh, cut the diameter of the tire to where I want it, how I uh, groove them, how I cross cut them the whole nine yards. I'm going to be doing a uh, suspension uh, tweaking episode, uh, show you some of the basics of what you need to do if the car's tight or loose and, you know, where the, you know, where you want to adjust on the car and why and some things like that, as well as give you a, uh, some information on uh, something that will help you with that even further, uh, something you can print off and keep in your tool bag. I'm going to also do that for dirt oval and paved oval cars. But guys, in this particular episode, uh, it's kind of unique. First time I've done it on the series, but in this episode, you're going to see this entire 21.5 race that I did at Little Indy Speedway from the racer's perspective, uh, first-person view. So if you play the game Doom or, or any kind of first-person shooters or any kind of first-person games, you know what I'm talking about. That's how you're going to see this entire episode. And uh, this is also the first time that I covered one specific class all day for the event. So what I did is I wore a head-mounted GoPro, and uh, I'm going to take you through the uh, prepping the car, racing the car, um, tuning on the car. You're going to see a quick tune that I do while I'm in, do, running some practice laps and things like that. Uh, cleaning the car, re-prepping the tires, and things like that. So you're going to get to see basically a whole racer's day through the perspective of my eyes, essentially. First-person view from the perspective of the driver. So unique video, I wanted to give it a try, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But, uh, you know, I'm still trying different things with the channel and, and you know, continue to make it grow. And I'm doing this again, you know, I've said it once, I'll say it again. This is for the RC community. This channel isn't just about me. It's for the RC community. I'm hoping that some of these videos uh, not only are, is bringing you entertainment, but is able to help somebody, you know, help somebody new trying to get into it. Uh, maybe some people that, you know, are already RC racing and they want to consider doing some dirt over RC racing, but they don't really know what to expect. That's what this video is going to do, is kind of show that and uh, show that whole process to you. So um, I hope you enjoy the video, guys, and uh, I'll check back with you in a bit. So let's get to it, guys. Um, I'm not going to talk through the entire video. I'm going to let you enjoy some of the racing and things of that nature still, too. But uh, just kind of want to walk you through the day, uh, you know, for those of you that are looking into this or got some interest in some dirt oval to kind of see what it is. So uh, what I'm doing here is uh, heading over for some open practice. Uh, this was first thing whenever we got the track. And uh, just going to set it down, do some hot laps, you know, kind of see where the car is. Uh, I'm going to end up having to do a little bit of tuning on it as well. The car started out a little bit free, which you'll see here shortly. going to be respectful here and let the other guys go on and uh, I'm going to come into the towards the back of the pack. Um, don't want to tear up your car early. It's just practice. So uh, got to get it going. But as you can see there, the car's a little free. Um, keep wanting to come loose on me uh, coming out of the corner. So uh, I'm going to try a couple more laps, see if I just need to, you know, get some more laps in or if it's the car. So right there, does it again, does it again. So right here, I'm going to stay low, let these guys go. Uh, get back around the track, and I'm going to pull it off uh, here in a moment because uh, we're going to go ahead and make an adjustment and try to tighten it up on exit just a little bit 
And uh, just to let you know, too, guys, you don't want to go too crazy early on. There you can see me turning around, driving up the track, so I can go tune on it. You don't want to get too crazy with tuning early on because uh, whenever the track just opens, there hasn't been anything, you know, any cars on the track yet. Um, so it's going to take, a, a, you know, a little bit of time for the track to come around. So no, uh, that's my personal opinion and, and my uh, bit of advice. But as you can see right there, I'm actually working on uh, tightening up the car a little bit. And uh, so what I did is uh, I uh, actually uh, added a couple rounds of that left rear spring. And what that did was stiffen it up just a bit, which helps tighten the car up a little bit on exit. Um, so I'm giving you that bit of information now, but we're also going to be covering an entire episode on some uh, dirt oval tuning, as well as another episode for some paved oval tuning. Okay, so the car was actually still a little too free coming off exit to my liking. So uh, it's time to go down and do a little bit of tuning again. Uh, and again, we're not getting too drastic with it. We're just going to make some, uh, you know, spring adjustments, a couple things like that. Um, you know, tune on those shocks a little bit. Once again, I'm going to add about another round on that left rear. And I'm backing off on the right rear. So essentially, we're stiffening that left rear again to try to tighten it up on exit and softening that right rear a bit to help tighten it up on exit. And I actually made a, a little bit of a left front adjustment there too. I felt like it was just a little lazy. Um, but that was just uh, a quick tune on that. Nothing major. You know, I'm trying not to go more than a, a turn or two at a time, which, uh, I mean, a lot of times you could take a quarter turn. It can make a difference with these cars. But it was free enough to the point that I was like, okay, we need to try to do something. So uh, getting out here to make some more hot laps, going to let those guys go and uh, see how the car feels, which the car started feeling a little bit better. Um, I was probably still a little bit more free than I wanted it to be, but uh, I'm like, you know, let's not go overboard yet because uh, I don't want to drive my ride heights, you know, and get them all out of whack in the process of this. So right here, um, after practice got back, going to clean the tires, get the car prepped up, and get ready to go out again. And uh, I'm going to actually uh, I've sh break this down for you and show you in a little bit uh, the whole process between rounds of what you got to do to get the car ready and things of that nature. And we'll go over that more here shortly. But I'm uh, going to do some high-speed footage here and then uh, give you the breakdown of that again here in just a bit. So once I got the car ready to go um, here, I, you know, I, I kind of cut forward a little bit of time between rounds. Uh, but we're going up for our first round of uh, heat racing. And uh, so I'm going to let you check out that race and see how, you know, that goes and everything. And, and again, I have not adjusted on the car any more than what I did on the, uh, uh, in the practice rounds. What I did do is I did double check my ride heights. Because whenever you're tuning on the collars and not actually changing the spring, you are modifying your ride heights as well. Um, you're shifting your weights and, and cross weights and things like that around a little bit. And it's kind of mimicking a uh, temporary spring change, but if you want to maintain your ride heights, if you like where the car went, you need to go back and set your ride heights back to where they were and put the, uh, the new springs on. But right now, um, since it wasn't a, a huge difference uh, on the ride height, I was like, okay, let's just, let's just run like this and see what it does. And again, this is the first round of the heat race. Oh. 
Grace number four, heat number two of 2025. Frankie Pete, Frankie Davis, Brandon, or, or is Brandon going? The U.S. Baker. So at this point in the race, uh, I am being a little cautious coming out of the corner because the car was still a little free. Um, a lot better than it was in... Oh! <laughs> you, you, you'll have that in racing sometimes. Um, got together with another car there, um, banging off the wall and kind of connected, but uh, part of racing, you'll have that sometimes. Uh, but again, I'm still being a little cautious coming out of the corner. The car is still a little free, but it is a lot better than it was in the uh, practice rounds. So uh, other than having to baby it out a little bit, you know, the car felt pretty good. Um, I still got to get used to, to driving this car a little bit more. Um, I, I keep getting on those bristles more, so the car is turning in great. Um, I just need to let the car do its thing a little bit more and, and get a little more confidence in it. Uh, so, and right there, that's because I kind of checked up. I saw the other cars kind of um, uh, com coming close to coming together there, so I checked up, and that caused me to loop it around there for a second, and... But, uh, again, the car itself wasn't bad. Um, you know, it just having to be a little bit careful. But, once again, like I said earlier, going into this, I'm aware that the track is going to get better. Most of the time, it gets better throughout the day with more races that goes on the track. The track comes in. It's gripped up more. Uh, so, just like I said earlier, you don't want to get too crazy in practice. You don't want to get too crazy in the first round where you're tuning, um, especially uh, – you know, whenever there's good sign that the track's going to come around, much like it did here. Two thirds down, one thirty to go. Davey Russell and Norm. Davey Russell and Norm. No, right here, I just want to point out, too, um, I'm leading the heat race. And uh, that other car there, they heard that, uh, you know, they knew I was in the lead, and they understand that this is a heat race. In a heat race, you're not racing each other yet. You're racing the clock. You're on your own timer. You're on your own race. And this is about putting down the best laps you can, the fastest lap time that you can, and the most number of laps that you can to help qualify you for the main event, which is, at that point, heads up, you know, car versus car for position racing. So, uh uh, you know, uh, that's one thing I notice a lot in the heat racing is a lot of people don't grasp that concept. And uh, I'm not saying that to uh, talk down on anybody. Um, it's just one of those things I notice, racing. Uh, a lot of people get out there and they start racing, think it's a race right off the bat. But in heat racing, again, you're on your own clock. You want to lay down your best time and your best, uh, your best laps that you possibly can, and you're not racing each other. So a lot of times if a faster car is coming up behind you, um, during a heat race, just let them go. I mean, you're not going to do anything but potentially hurt you and them in the long run if you're trying to hold them up or force them down or something of that nature. And even in the main event, you know, the people that are calling the race generally do a good job too, saying, hey, leader's on you, you know, let them go or whatever if, if you're coming up on a lap car and things of that nature. But, uh, oh, one final little, uh, little knock there coming out of the corner <laughs> with one of the cars. But uh, I end up picking up the win uh, for this heat race. Uh, like I said, you know, I was very happy with the car. Um, each race that I go out with this thing, it just keeps getting better and better. All right, so after that heat race, this is where I'm going to kind of walk you through the uh, between-round maintenance of the car, uh, you know, what you want to do to prep for the next race, next round. Things of that nature. So obviously we're going to go back to the pit here. Um, I had to go corner marshal, but then I cut back in right there. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and pull the car apart. You know, or not pull the car apart. I'm going to pull the body off. And then uh, we're going to uh, start the prepping process, cleaning and prepping process. Because uh, there's a good bit you want to do between rounds. You know, you want to keep the car clean. Um, you want to make sure your diff's clean. you got to clean your tires, charge your batteries, all that kind of stuff. So... Like right there, I'm putting my LiPo battery in a LiPo safe bag. You know, going to get everything connected and going to go ahead and get that thing, you know, going again. Two minute parallel is 
And guys, I just want to express too, a lot of these uh, tire preps that we use and sometimes even the cleaning solutions uh, can be, you know, harmful uh, to an extent. So I highly recommend using gloves. Um, I generally use them at every race. I'm not even going to lie to you. I have been to a race before and forgot them at home and had to go barehanded, but I washed my hands between every round. But uh, what I'm going to do here is spray on that cleaning solution on the tires. I'm going to work it in with my gloves. Then I'm going to take my rag and just go ahead and clean all that off. And, you know, you kind of want to massage your cleaning solution in with your fingers to get them in deep. Uh, what you're basically trying to do here is pull some of the, the leftover tire uh, prep out of the tires, get them clean again, get the dirt, you know, out of it and things of that nature. So we're going to do that to all four tires. And I will tell you here, too, my cleaning solution that I'm currently using um, is just um, simple green uh, watered down. It is a uh, probably a 50-50 or maybe like a 40 simple green, 60 water mixture I got going on there. I can't remember, something like that. Um, I normally use the uh, Sticky Icky brand tire cleaner, um, but um, I didn't have any with me this day. And this is what I've been using for a little bit, so I'm, like, I'm just going to stick with this program and get some more of the uh, Sticky Icky brand tire cleaner uh, next time I'm out kind of thing. All right, and here, uh, just another part of uh, between round, you know, racing uh, maintenance you got to do. Going to walk on the other, uh, other side of the track here, and we're going to take that air hose, and we're going to blow the car off, you know, and we're going to focus on the areas like the shocks and anything with bearings, you know, the transmission, or excuse me, the, the direct drive differential, the motor, you know, you want to spray all that out. You know, any grit is harmful grit, so you want to get it out the best you can during the race day, keep that car moving smooth and freely. So uh, right here, you're also going to see that I'm working on taking those uh, tire prep, or excuse me, tire cleaning gloves off. And we're actually going to put on some tire prep gloves. I got a, you know, a glove for each one. You don't want to be mixing the two. Um, but uh, going to get those off, and then we're going to uh, grab that tire prep and start putting it on the tires. For you newer 21.5 racers or guys that are considering getting into it and curious and got questions, I'll tell you right off the bat, uh, what I'm applying is Sticky Icky Zero Tire Prep. Um, the zero and the number four, I think, are like the two most popular tire preps for the 21.5 class. These cars really like it. The track conditions usually call for it. And uh, what I'm doing right here is, too, just putting a little bead all the way around the tire and just kind of massaging it in. You know, making sure I get it spread out across the, the entire tire and just kind of, you know, massaging it into the tire a little bit as well. And if I feel I got a little bit of excess in there, you'll see I'll just go back through and kind of squeeze some of it back out. And uh, we're going to do that to all four tires. And again, guys, a, a, a big shout out and a, and a thank you to Reese and Alan of Sticky Icky for supporting JB Trickle RC as well as my number 51 JB Trickle machine. Great group of guys, too. Um, if you needed help or just getting started out, they'll help you with anything. you got questions, need some setup help or advice or whatever, those guys are really good about that. So a huge shout-out to those guys again, too. But, um, yeah, from here, guys, uh, we're pretty much done. We're just going to wait on that battery to charge up, throw it back in the car, get the body on, um, which uh, you didn't see me do this round. But uh, right here, the body's already on, battery's in, so I'm walking up for the uh, round two of the heat races. So we're just going to wait on these guys to finish up, and then we're going to go right on in. Oh, that's it, so down. 
settle down. I need Lauren and Russell back to firm marshal. Let him get the car set back down and sit down and get him back to firm marshal. All right, guys, so uh, here we are. It's our turn. We're going up for the uh, second round of heat races. And uh, basically what we're doing here, whenever you see us taking off and just running laps down, you know, a lot of people's like, well, you're running your battery down and, and this and that and the other. And, yeah, you're right. Uh, but generally what we do is we go in, just knock out a couple hot laps um, because before the race starts, you got plenty of time there if you want to go over there and, and, you know, tune on the car real quick a little bit or have one of your buddies standing down there at the end of the track and, and do a uh, you know a quick adjustment on your car if you feel you need to tighten it up or loosen it up a little bit or whatever. So uh, doing the uh, getting those hot laps in, then we're getting lined up. In this heat race, um, we did a resort, so I'm actually racing with a different group of guys this round. Uh, we did resort after the first round, uh, won that heat race, so now I'm up in with this group of guys, and uh, you know you'll get to enjoy this heat race as well. right here guys um you know the car like i said you know very happy with it keeps getting better and better um have had you know no complaints out of it like i said every race just seems to get a little bit better and better each time and uh, right there that was actually me you know i checked up real hard and hit the brakes a little bit i didn't want to run into that car in front of me um looked like they got into a little bit of something trying to get off so uh i kind of to keep from running into them i checked up hit the brakes caused me to get kind of squirrely there but again very happy with the car um, you, you guys have been able to see a lot of the progress of this car uh, in my adventure in this class. And it uh, just keeps getting better and better. Um, I think the biggest thing holding it back right now is the wheel man behind it. And uh, <laughs> I'm not ashamed or afraid to admit that. But with every race, you know, you just get better with it. The, the car gets better. You get better at driving it. Uh, so different from the, the, the rubber tire cars. But it's a blast, guys. If you're considering this class, whether you're local uh, to me and can race with me, please come on out. Um, if you're, you know, at a, you know, uh, in a different state or something like that, and they offer a similar class to this, and you're thinking about giving them foam tire cars a try, go for it, man. It's a blast. It really is. Um, it is a challenge. There's no doubt about that. Um, you know, it can be very challenging. It can even be frustrating sometimes, but it is an absolute overall blast. Um, most of the guys that I know that have, you know, that I've talked to and I race with on a weekly basis, you know, great, great group of guys. Um, so, and, and majority of everybody will be able to help you. They really will. I mean, if you come out to a race and I'm there and I can help you somehow, come on over and see JB. I'll be glad to do what I can to help you. But uh, um, if I can't or if I don't know the answer or don't feel like uh, my knowledge base can assist you in the help you're looking for, I'm going to send you to somebody that probably can help you. But uh, that's that's what it's all about, guys, having fun and, and helping one another when we can and, uh, you know, just trying to help get the community to grow and the classes to grow. And thank you. Thank 
So that's another heat race in the books. That's round two. Um, that was the last of the qualifiers, so we're going to be going into the main event races next. And again, you know, very happy uh, with the performance of the car. Had another pretty good run outside of a couple hiccups, you know, some of my own and uh, other parts just racing. But uh, happy with the car. And uh, again, guys, any progress is good progress. So if you get into this class or if you're looking into getting into some kind of oval type racing, really any RC race at all, uh, never let yourself get discouraged. Um, keep trying because any progress is good progress. Uh, you know, and, and, and coming out from ground zero and coming out and expecting to get that win up front, first race you're ever out, it can happen, but it's very rare, guys. Um, generally, it's going to take some work, some practice and uh, things of that nature to get you where you want to be. So do not, get, uh, do not get discouraged. You know, keep trying, ask for help, and uh, do whatever you got to do to, you know, get it better. Like I said, majority of these guys out here are willing to help you. You know, so it's, it is a competitive class, but most everybody's super friendly and would be willing to help you, you know, learn about the car so you can make sure you're making the right and proper adjustments on the car. But all righty, guys, we're getting ready to go into the main events. Uh, so this is what I didn't show you earlier. You know, uh, we did went through the whole uh, process of cleaning and prepping the car again like we've done between every round. And uh, now we're going to go ahead and uh, get that battery popped in. And, uh, you know, just going to go through a quick little pre, uh, pre-race glance at the car, make sure everything was okay. No adjustments were made, so the car was good to go. You know, I was happy with the car all day, so I'm just like, I'm just going to drive it. Um, didn't have to do any major changes on the car other than that little bit of tweaking I did in the uh, practice rounds. But uh, we're going to go ahead and put the body on, and uh, we're going to walk on over here shortly and wait on our round to come in. This is the A-Main. In case you didn't hear the announcer earlier, um, again, the uh, heat races are over. The, the qualifiers are over. We're going into the A-Main, and um, I qualified third overall in the A-Main, which was uh, really good. And uh, Frankie Beach uh, took the TQ top qualifier uh, starting on the pole. Congratulations, Frankie. You had a fantastic car all day. And then uh, Braden Chavis uh, qualified second. Um, he had a really good car as well. But uh, we're getting ready to walk over there and uh, get the race, uh, getting the race started. And everyone, again, I know this is a unique uh, episode, and uh, this was targeted for people, you know, interested in the class or in dirt oval in general, and and just kind of wanted everybody to see what you go through uh, on a you know, a, a race day, you know, between rounds, during rounds, and, and you know, everything of that nature. It, it's, a, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of fun, but, you know, it's not without some work. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, let me know in the comment section, you know, if you enjoyed this, uh, you know, from the driver's perspective type episode, was trying something new, and uh, if you guys liked it, you know, I can try to do some other episodes like this in the future, maybe covering a different class or covering this one again, too. But uh, we're just getting those hot laps in, and we're going to get ready to get lined up and go racing for the main event. So uh, I'll let you check that out now. The order will be Frankie Pete, Craig Tanks, Jamie Trickle, Jamie Trickle, Jamie Trickle, Jamie Trickle, That is the order. Keep going, guys. All right, order. Time to go racing. All right, Frankie, Craig. J.B. Trick, following the third, please serve. Brandon Jones, Troy Pipple, that is the order. That is the order. Frankie, take one around one more time, and we're going to bring off four. One more time, bring off four. Go, go, go.
Give us a couple seconds and now it's going fast. Thirty seconds in, Frankie Lee, Frankie Taylor, Brandon Jones, Frankie Trickle. No more no Go against the wall, everybody needs to go back there. He's going back there. Again, again, you got Frankie Lee, Frankie Taylor, Brandon Jones. Go ahead, boy. Frankie Lee does that up to a little bit late. He's going to try to play with him. Three and four on the separated ball fairway. So in this race here, I actually started in third, ended up falling back to fourth, and I had a couple mishaps, uh, one with another car and, and uh, one just on myself. You know, just really messed that up on the exiting the corner, but uh, trying to reel that third place uh, car back in to try to make something happen, and uh, I finally do at some point. I can't remember exactly what happened, but you'll see, you'll see here. And overall, it was a really good race. Um, uh, pretty much clean. I think everybody ended up having some form of a mishap, if I remember correctly. Um, everybody got caught up in a little something or other at some point in time, and that, you know, of course, helped with some of the positions and things of that nature too. But, uh, you know, again, guys, was part of racing, but was very happy with the car. Um, took some more notes down, know some more areas I need to really work on the car again, try to get it, you know, um, figured out and, and, and uh, you know, to get it right, to get it better. But uh, had a great race day, really happy with the car, and, uh, you know, had a blast. That's, in my opinion, that's still what's most important. We're all competitive. We all want to win. But the most important part is to make sure that you are having fun. That's what all this is about. We wouldn't be out here doing this if we weren't having fun or a fan of racing and things of that nature. That's, that's part of it. Make sure you're having fun. Frankie Lee, Frankie Davis, JB, Brandon Jones. Three down, one to go, three down, one to go. Frank, you leading, right, buddy? Yeah. All right. Oh. And guys, uh, right here, I just want to show you the time slip for that main event. Um, you can see Frankie Beach ended up winning, and congrats to you again, Frankie. You had a fantastic car all day. Brandon Chavis finishing second. He also had a fantastic car. And uh, I came in third. But the big thing I want to point out and uh, just uh, show you guys is, and again, everybody got in trouble at some point in this race. But if you look at the top three finishing times, they were all three a 48 lap at a 401, a 402, and a 405. That tells you how close the finish was in this race. And, um, you know, fantastic to be, you know, that competitive at this race. Glad to see the cars coming around and, and to know that, uh, you know, I can get more out of the car. You know, I still had uh, several hiccups in that race where, uh, you know, I nearly lost it for this reason or that reason, you know, got into it with another car or whatever. But, uh, you know, it's there. It's capable. We can get it done. Just got to work on it a little bit more. But, again, congrats to Frankie and Braden.
and uh, and all those guys that were out here at this race. I enjoyed running with you guys, and I uh, look forward to the next one. Well, guys, I really hope you enjoyed that video. Again, I know it was unique. Um, first time I've filmed an episode like this. Hopefully, I was able to help some uh, newer folks out or somebody looking to get in a dirt oval. But now that you've seen basically a whole race day from my perspective of uh, – now, when I say whole race day, I mean whole race day for the class. We're there for several, several hours because there's various other classes that run. But you got to see me prepping the car, getting the car ready between rounds, cleaning the tires, re-prepping the tires, charging the batteries, getting the car, you know, everything back in it, ready to go again, as well as a little bit of uh, tweaking. So I am tuning as I go, but I'm also still learning the car taking my notes after every race, what the car did, what it likes, you know, what I need to improve on. And it even helps me reviewing the videos, um, kind of seeing where, okay, well, I wasn't right here, so let's try this next time kind of situation. But I know it was unique, guys. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video, um, this style of video. And if you did, um, I'd be happy to do some more in the future. Uh, but again, I'm going to be bringing you plenty more uh, full race coverage over the winter. Uh, we got some 1RC uh, 18th scale uh, RC indoor cars I'm going to cover. We're still going to be doing some dirt oval racing indoors at the Little Indy track. So got plenty more full coverage uh, RC racing going to be uh, bringing to you. But uh, just going to be covering a few other things I haven't gotten to yet. Like I said, the tuning assist videos and uh, things of that nature. But again, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll catch you next time.